Hello! So I just got home from work and I guess you could say like I did just get home from work. So while I was at work where I just got home from, I got some packages delivered to me. So I have these three packages, so I thought it would be fun. I thought you guys might enjoy, I thought you guys might really like it if I did an unboxing, a little haul. Now, I hope that these are what I'm expecting it to be, but oh my gosh, I just am so excited for these things. So I'm gonna move this stuff to the floor. All right, and so we're gonna start with this one, which, is from Hot Topic, so I hope it's what I ordered. What what kinds of things do you guys get from Hot Topic? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys get from Hot Topic when you order from there. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's my shipping information. This is not what I was expecting it to come in. All right, let's see. I don't understand why you had to give me several boxes within a box and now I can't even figure out how to open this one. Oh my gosh! You guys, it's Trixie Mattel, one of the best drag queens ever and it is uh, a Funko Pop. Do you all collect Funko Pops? Let me know down below. What, what kind of Funko Pops do you have? What's your favorite Funko Pop? Uh, but in all seriousness, I've never felt the need or desire to collect a Funko Pop, but I did want to get uh, one of the Drag Race ones at least. I may try to get uh, some of the other ones because there's one that's Alaska Thunder Fudge. You can't say her name on YouTube. And there's one that's like a RuPaul Funko Pop as well, like actual RuPaul, not one of the queens. So... I don't know. The other thing is, is like, I know people are always like, oh, do you open the box? Do you not open the box? I'm not sure what I want to do with her. I would like to display her somewhere. I think she's super cute. My boyfriend has some, but I, he has all of his unboxed. Like, he doesn't care. And honestly, like, I probably am not going to try to sell her someday. Although, they did completely sell out of these, and my boyfriend told me that he was looking for some of them for my anniversary, um, our anniversary, and he couldn't find any except ones on eBay that were selling for like $50, and this was like 10 or 12 something like that. So, oh my gosh, you guys, Trixie Mattel. Just in case you don't know who she is, she's a drag queen. She is a female impersonator. She is on RuPaul's Drag Race. She was a contestant there. There she is, look at her, cutie. Uh, but they did sell out of these and they just recently came back in stock. So that's how I got it for 10 or $12. So that's my first. The next one, it says Kim comes from Belair St. Clair, who is also a drag queen on RuPaul's Drag Race. And I've always been a supporter of hers because I spent two years of my life in Indiana. Lots of people ask me about that in the comments. Let's just, let's just throw that one more time for good measure. <laughs> uh, lots of people ask me about, about like my IU swag and things like that. And I did go to grad school there for two years of my life and live in Indiana. I did not actually know Blair St. Clair, but the Indiana drag scene was like, well, the Indiana drag in Bloomington, Indiana, where IU is, um, was like a really important part of my time there. I really enjoyed it. And I went there for comfort. There's one gay bar and it was like a really big part of my time at IU. But this is the shirt I got. So I'm hoping lots of you have been reading me for filth for being fat and chubby, so I love that. Um, so <laughs> I got this in a large. I probably should have gone for an XL, but you know, I'm trying to lose 12 pounds, so maybe it'll be okay. I think it's cute, actually. Like, it's got all of these phases of her getting dressed and ready, putting makeup on, not dressed, I guess. So I'm loving this. This is Blair St. Clair, in case you didn't know. 
She was on season 10. Actually, when I bought this, it was on sale. Uh, she was having a birthday sale on her, all of her merch. And I was like, yeah, girl, I'm, a, I'm gonna support you. I will support you. I'm looking out for you. So I'm very excited about that. That's cute, that's cute. And I have one more package left. I probably went completely out of frame as I was saying that because I was bending down to pick up the package. And it's a big one. Now I know these are shoes because I ordered them from Nordstrom. <laughs> and I've ordered shoes from Nordstrom Rack before. And it always makes me mad because they send you this big old box and then it's like, the actual shoe box in here is like half the size of this huge box. I also hope I'm not like showing my address on camera that you can't see it. So I'm gonna have to check that back when I'm editing. Great way to add to the list of things you gotta do, Zach. Great way to do that. Okay, so here is the shoes. They're a pair of Converse. I really wanted some metallic Converse. They came up one day, probably on a Facebook ad. And I was like, I gotta have those. But then if you go onto Converse's actual website, the pair that they have there, it is silver and that's the pair I wanted. But they're like $60. I was like, girl, no. But these, I think I got them for like 30 or 35. And that's how much I would normally prefer to pay for my Converse or shoes really in general, because I'm cheap. That's what you need to know about me. So, these are supposed to be metallic. Let's open her up. Oh my gosh, okay, let's see. <gasps> Look at her! Oh my, do you guys see that? I am in love. I haven't bought a new, I used to exclusively wear Chuck Taylors. Like that was all I wore. And I haven't really in a long time because they were like fitting weird on me and who knows, these could fit weird, but oh, I'm in love. Look at how cute they are. Yes, come through. I should probably get out the other shoe and make sure it looks appropriate. Ooh, ASMR for your nerve. Okay, let's get rid of this, this. All right, perfect. Yes, she. It's cute. She's cute. I'm gonna be so gay this summer wearing these. We're gonna wear these to Pride. We're gonna wear these just out and about, thotting and bopping. Yes. Who is she? Who is she? Um, so yeah. Wow. Cute. So, I know I've never really done this before, um, but, you know, I got home from work and I was just like, I got all these packages, I may as well film all the fun things I got. So if you like this, uh, I do have two packages coming from ASOS soon, so I could do a little mini ASOS gay plus size haul for y'all. Um, because I think I mentioned that I just like really enjoy watching clothing hauls and Dollar Tree hauls and all of these things, or maybe I haven't. So if I haven't, that might be news to you. But if you like this, please let me know because I would love to do more uh, with all the things I'm buying. I just said uh, a lot there. Okay, so let me know down below. Leave a comment. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And follow me on my, all of my social media, which I'll include down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!